sexta-feira, dia 11 de agosto, chega o novo filme de ação e espionagem da Netflix, Agente Stone, que conta a história de uma agente e o grupo dela ali. Eles precisam evitar que uma tecnologia super avançada, que é uma tecnologia baseada em inteligência artificial, chegue nas mãos erradas. Eu já assisti a esse filme porque eu precisei assistir para entrevistar o elenco. Quem está no elenco? Gal Gadot, a Mulher Maravilha. A gente conhece muito ela por causa desse papel e ela está sensacional protagonizando esse filme de ação e espionagem, que é um filme que inclusive coloca a mulher como protagonista. O Jamie Dornan, se você não conhece, não lembra, é o Christian Grey, de 50 Tons de Cinza, também está nesse filme. E a Liabar. eu conversei com os três, eles vieram aqui para o Brasil, aqui para São Paulo, e foi uma conversa bem legal. Vamos ver. Sabe por que se candidatou? Sem amigos. Sem relacionamentos. O que fazemos é muito importante. Quando os governos caem, só o que resta é a carta. I watched it and it was really impressive with the amount of action scenes, fighting, car chases, shootouts, jumping out of planes, blowing up buildings. What was it like for the three of you to do that? Was there any accident or something behind the scenes that's worth telling everyone? It was exhausting. We were dirty and sweaty and like, you know, it was it was incredible. You know, the action in this film is just out of this world. We wanted to make sure that as much, as, as big as it gets, that it'll be grounded, um, that it's all made by people, most of it. Um, and even the stuff that weren't made by people are physically can be able, um, you know, can be done by humans. I think that, you know, that's the fun part about these type of genres. You can go crazy with the action. It's the perfect escapism. Uh, and one of the things that were, was the most important for us was to flash out the, the, the relationship between the characters so you really care uh, and also understand each of the character's point of view. Todos trabalham para manter a paz em um mundo turbulento. Quantos na festa de boas-vindas? Seis ao todo. So there are many spy movies in the movie history, but they have evolved with time in the world before spies had to use, I don't know, telephone and letters to work. Now there is more and more technology. <laughs> Did it get easier to be a spy over time? Look, we're not living in, I don't know, did you have MacGyver? Did you have MacGyver? MacGyver, sure. Did yeah. you have MacGyver here? So obviously we're not in the MacGyver. Did you have it? It's like a guy that used to, he could make an airplane out of like toothpick. It, toothpick. it was crazy. So obviously we're not there. It's much more advanced and progressed and the technology is in, incredible. And funny enough, it's crazy to think, you know, the timing of the movie and the AI, you know, the chat GPT conversation that's been going on uh, lately, it feels like it's very timely. Um, yeah, it's interesting to see how it's going to play. It. Are you that good with technology? I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm challenged. I'm very challenged with technology. Like, I'm, I, can, I can do the basics, like text an and, yeah, and, and send an email and, and like, Make Subscribe. phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Jamie? Yeah, I'm not great. No, my, my, I mean, I've got my, I have three kids, three girls, and they're, um, like, our nine-year-olds already sort of better. Like, they're like, give me that, Dad, I'll do yeah. that, and they can use my phone better, better than I can. Quem tem o coração tem o mundo. There's a lot of AI at the center of the story, and I really like that they call it the heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the question is, would you listen to the machine's heart or your own? Mm. Mm. This seems to be a conflict inside Rachel's head. Would you agree, Gal? Yeah, definitely. That was uh, a big element in her character's arc. Uh, me, personally, I would listen to my heart. My heart. Uh, my gut feeling. Uh, what about you guys? Yeah, I think the heart also somewhere represents the mind, like the the power of what what the mind is capable of put into a computer. So I think a lot of the times I feel like I'm torn between my heart and my mind, and whenever it's my mind, it's always stressing me out. But whenever it's my heart, it just feels much lighter. So to answer your question, I would listen to my heart. I've listened to Ali's heart. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
E você aí, hein? Escutaria o coração da máquina ou o seu próprio? É um conflito bem interessante nesse filme, vale super a pena assistir. E vou dizer pra vocês, aqui nos bastidores eu fiquei bastante nervosa, já que a gente tá falando de coração, né? O meu coração bateu mais forte quando eu vi ali Gal Gadot, Jamie Dornan e a Ali Abad na minha frente, porque são atores e atrizes que a gente vê em Hollywood. E eu falei sobre isso na newsletter da CNN, se você ainda não se inscreveu, não assinou, Olha aí, toda semana tem texto novo meu, do Felipe. E aí, para assinar, para se inscrever, é só apontar a câmera do teu celular para o QR Code que apareceu aí na tela.